of the, his students, which uh, I also enjoyed very much to, of talking to them, collaborating with some of them. And I can say even now that Joseph is uh, somehow coming to Jerusalem every Sunday and he is one of the most active participants, probably because of one of the most youngest one, you know, at least <laughs> definitely the others that don't have that much energy. Yes, now I'm very pleased to introduce uh, George Lustig, which, uh, whose works uh, influence very much uh, my research and I'm sure research of almost everyone in this room and uh, from MIT. And he will talk about uh, billiards and tilting characters for SL3. Okay, thank you. Okay, so first I, I, I should say that I, uh, that I first almost met uh, Joseph uh, not, uh, so in, when we were both in high school, uh, which met, it almost meant me that we were at the same International Olympiad and we were in the same room, but we didn't actually meet. <laughs> Uh, and I found out, I found out later that that uh, you have the same policy. Yeah. Yes. No, no. We had we learned some Russian in school, a little, a little bit. Yes. Uh, yeah, but but later our trajectories have intersected several times, and, and I, I a great ad admirer of of, of uh, Joseph's work, and I, I benefited quite a lot from from his. Uh, his work, and in, in particular, uh, a long time ago, uh, he, he, he introduced, uh, he, he helped and introduced category O, which, actually, uh, which, which, which I used in, in a long time ago. And I, I uh, in fact, I, I remember that in the book of uh, Dix Mier, he says that, uh, that Berma module should be actually called Bernstein, Gelfand, Gelfand module, but would be more correct to call them by that name. That maybe. Uh, for some reason, the Colbert module. <coughs> so, so, anyway, so he, he uh, so, so he and Gerd uh, made, uh, made the foundations of, of, of foundational results about this category, and uh, th this uh, then, uh, well, so this we used this when I had worked with Karsdan uh, on, on the highest weight module for simple Lie algebra. Uh, but in, in, in um, in, in, in this lecture, which will be uh, join, joint with, uh, it's a joint work uh, with uh, George Williamson. Uh, so, so this this will concern uh, uh, some some category which is close related to category O. It's an analog of that uh, for semi-simple groups in of the field of classic P, algebraic cross field of classic P. I don't know if you can, probably cannot see anything. <coughs> what? So how, how high can I go? Can I go? No, it is too high, yes? This. Anyway, so, so the, some notation. So, so G is a semi-simple algebraic group, um, simply, connect, simply connected, maybe, maybe almost simple, uh, over uh, algebraic closure of finite field, so FP bar, or, or field of classic P, uh, algebraic closure of classic P. And then this. Uh, uh, well, interest, we're interested in the category of representations of G. These are the finite dimensional representations uh, of uh, the same, uh, same uh, vector spaces of the same field, and they are given by uh, rational, by, by uh, regular functions uh, on, on G. Uh, and yes, and, and uh, this, the simple modules. 
uh, in this category, they are noted like this, and they are in bijection with dominant weight. So, so if T is a maximal torus, uh, and X is uh, characters, uh, then this, um, this set is in bijection with uh, plus, this is the uh, do dominant part, so dominant weights, dominant elements of X. Um, that is defined with respect to some, so these are lambda uh, alpha i positive number. So these are the simple roots. <coughs> uh, and, and then, so they also, uh, so we denote by L lambda is this simple module corresponding to lambda. And there are some other modules also important. V P lambda is the Val module. Uh, so this module is given by sections of a line, line bundle of the flag manifold. Uh, and it has the same character as in, as in classic zero. And there's also a coval module. So there was some discussion of this in, in Gates for his talk. So this is something uh, which is has the same character as B lambda, but it's not isomorphic to it. Uh, and, and then there's another class of modules which is uh, which are tilting modules. So this is something which was not known in the uh, time of uh, uh, work of, when category O was introduced, tilting modules. This was some notion introduced in, in the 1990s by, by Ringel. And in this, uh, in this particular uh, category uh, was studied by Donkin. So this was 1991, 1993. So this form, uh, so this is a subcategory of uh, of this. Can, can you still see, can you see anything? I'm not, I'm not so sure. Is it visible what I'm writing? Yes. Uh, so these are representations or G modules which admit a filtration, finite, finite filtration, so that every quotient is a Val module. And it also admits a filtration in which every quotient is a Coval module. So, uh, and in, in the big, well, it is not uh, completely obvious why these things are, are good objects, but it turns out they are uh, very good objects. I, I will tell you <coughs> why. Uh, so, so, for example, here it is a good thing to consider is uh, is not uh, uh, in the composable tilting modules. So these are in the composable. And uh, it turns out that these are in the aptasmorphism one to one correspondence again with X plus. Uh, so T lambda. Uh, so this unique in a composability module whose highest weight is, is lambda. Uh, <coughs> so th that shows that this, this, this uh, interesting class of object is well behaved. But, uh, and, and uh, now, uh, for, for L lambda, you, the, you, you can ask how you can write L lambda as a, a, at least uh, you, you can, uh, you can write in a bracket, L lambda in bracket, that means that something which uh, linear combination of characters of a torus, which, which records all the weight multiplicities. And this equals sum of V mu with some coefficients and mu lambda, which, which are integer. <coughs> uh, and then this, of course, this is a very interesting problem to, to find these numbers. And the similar problem is, to, is, is for T lambda to, uh, to express uh, T lambda again as linear combination of 
Uh, the M mu lambda of B mu. Uh, so, what Eric has is L lambda for the basis of, of this space of, uh, of the combination of characters or torus which are variable invariant, and V lambda also for a basis, and T lambda also for a basis. So, so there's certainly such combination exists. And, and the and the main problem is to uh, understand these numbers and these numbers. So now what is known? So, so first, first the, the analogs of, of these things in, for quantum groups. So, which, so this L lambda. So suppose um, you look at quantum group at a Petrus of unity, and that has a uh, this object analogous to each of these four objects, so LQ, V lambda, Q, V prime lambda Q, T lambda Q. And then, the, then, then there are also such uh, multiple, some uh, similar, uh, uh, for similar uh, multiplicity uh, matrices. Okay. So these are quantum. George, you have to push it up a little bit. Uh, uh, where is? Yeah, it's hard. Oh. Quantum analogs. Okay, so so what is known? Um, uh, this 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 uh, this multiplicities n, q, mu, lambda are, are known, uh, and this was done. This, this was a conjecture which I made about uh, 1987, I suppose. Uh, and it, it, it said that they can be expressed in terms of polynomials of Kazan, which I, Kazan I introduced, but for affine bar group. And this was proved uh, as a concept uh, by uh, my paper with Kazan, which Gaze uh, uh referred to plus Kashiwara, work of Kashiwara Tanizaki. Anyway, so th th these are known for, since, na since the 1990s. Uh, and then these this other numbers, MU lambda also known, uh, this, this by uh, Sergel, this was in the late 19, uh, 1990, and it was uh, by uh, using again the uh, this equivalence of categories from uh, a data quantum group and affine Lie algebra with negative level. So he, he used uh, that equivalence, reduced this, this problem to a similar problem for this affine Lie algebra. And in that case, he, he used that there is uh, some relation between tilting modules for affine Lie algebra with negative central charge and simple modules for affine the other with positive central charge. There, there, there was some, some kind of a relation, and you, he exploited that to, to find these numbers, and they, they again express in terms of polynomials, or same kind of polynomials. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so that's that's the story in a quantum case. In now, if you if you go to this modular case. Uh, for uh, so uh, here there are two problems. So the first problem can be actually reduced uh, to the quantum case using uh, two two uh, two results. One of them is that uh, for for, for weights which are not too big, uh, the the uh, this multiplicity are the same as these multiplicities. Uh, so this was some. Um, this, this was something I conjectured, and then Anderson, Janssen, Sergel proved uh, for, but for very large prime. So for very large prime, this is this can be reduced to quantum case. And, and then if your weights are not, if they're not so 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 big, then there is a, a Steinberg tensor product theorem, which which reduces to the uh, weights which are which are not not big. So, so, so this case uh, is is essentially un is, is understood. 
in some sense, uh, uh, for, for it is very large. Uh, now, it turns out that uh, this second problem for in classic P is actually not understood at all. It's, it's, so yeah, that, that's very, uh, and, and so this, this really, uh, uh, very challenging problem is, is, to, is to, to understand this way, these this, this things. And, and you cannot, the point is you cannot, you can only reduce to the quantum case uh, partially, not, not, not uh, completely. So some, sometimes you can reduce, but some, some, uh, for some lambda, you, you can, uh, there's no reduction. And I will explain uh, <coughs> what is happening in a moment. So, so, so my uh, talk will be um, try to understand the, the, the first time when these uh, coefficients are, 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 are not known and we'll present a, a conjecture for, for those. So, so the, my talk will have no, no new theorem at all. It will have only a, a, a conjecture. <coughs> right, so. So for um, so actually from now on I will assume that we are in K, uh, G is SL3. So if, if uh, G is SL2, then this uh, uh, structure of duty model is completely understood. But SL3 already uh, it is, it's, it's a very big mystery. So it is a very strange situation. <coughs> uh, so what happens? So you can look at this this diagram here. Ah, so f uh, f first of all, I should say that uh, the one thing you can do you can draw uh, in, in the in the if you take the, all the weights and tensor with real numbers, you can draw the hyperplanes where uh, the val character formula takes. Uh, uh, the well, dimension formula takes values divided by p. Uh, so you take all, all the points where dimension is divided by p and th that they lie on, on certain hyperplanes like, like this. So this, this means that the uh, inner product of, you take a weight, add to it half a sum of the positive roots, the inner product with, the, uh, with some root has to be integer divisible by p, then you get all these hyperplanes. These hyperplanes will divide uh, the, the, this uh, Euclidean space into, into alcoves, the, uh, the, and this will be referred to as p-alcoves. Uh, now it turns out that if you take, um, if you take a, a weight in one of these alcoves, and you want to find the Coefficient, so take lambda to be here and mu to be here. Uh, then the only time this will be this multiplicity m mu lambda is non-zero is when mu and lambda are related by the by the affine bar group. So that's that's a linkage principle, which which is uh, holds just like in the category O. In that case, it's a usual bar group, and this this means that this uh, uh, these multiplicities they are really can be viewed as function not of a, of a pair of weights but a fair pair of alcoves. Of course, this, only, this, this will only explain uh, weights which are not on any wall, but there's, again, there's a principle which says that if you want, if you know multiplicities or weights which are not on the wall, then you automatically know four weights on the, on the wall. So, 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 so now the problem is, is reduced to finding 
some uh, matrix indexed by two alcoves, uh, which so instead of m mu lambda, you have m of uh, one alcove and another alcove. Uh, so, okay. So the alcoves which appear, they are all those inside this uh, val chamber, with with the uh, vertex at, at minus uh, row minus some of positive half a sum of positive roots. <coughs> and then you can uh, look at all the alcoves which are which are near near the wall, this wall or this wall. And also the, the, the next alcove here, here. So that's that's the ne next uh, uh, box here. And in this case, there is a tensor product theorem due to Donkin, uh, which says that if you know the character of, of tilting modules for all the things that 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 are shown here so near the wall or or here, uh, then then you know everything else. The, so, so you, you have, it's enough to know those. Well, the analogous, state, analogous statement in for, for the simple modules was that if you know the character just in this box here, then you know everything. And the character in this box was determined a long time ago, 1967 already, uh, by Braden. Now, in, in, but for SL3, uh, there was a work of... Um, uh, well, Andersen and his student ja Jensen, not Jensen, but Jensen, uh, which, which says that um, if you take uh, one of these alcoves in, uh, in, in, in the, uh, which lies in a P square alcove, so P square alcove would be something bounded by uh, something where the, the lambda plus rho inner product with the longest, with the highest root, it's, le it's, it's a multiple of p square. Uh, so, so this, so it, it's a much larger alcove. So it has a. Uh, if if you take um, something bounded by p square instead of p, uh, then it, in 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 that uh, for those uh, lambda the the. These multiplicities are the same as the quantum case. That's the term of Andersen and Jensen. And in particular, you, you means that you know what happens in this in this box, and you also know in in, in, in here, but on, only only for, only for a short time. And uh, if if you if you go beyond this p square hyperplane, uh, I think Jensen made some. Uh, computations using some Anders, some Anderson, some formula, and he found characters in some cases, and there was absolutely no was completely chaotic. There was no 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 you couldn't see any any pattern at all. <coughs> so what uh, so what uh, what we do in this uh, work is that we. We try to find a conjecture it will, for for uh, this thing along the wall. It will be it, uh, along one of the walls because the other wall will be symmetric, uh, and it will not be for for every uh, each of these arcs along the wall. It only only up to p cube. So instead of going down to p square, you go up to p cube. Uh, so for this, we, we find. Uh, 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 pattern and ap after p cube, uh, I, I I will say something. Uh, what happens? We don't don't you don't really know. Um, so now now I should say this that um, so the situation is that. Um, uh, let's see. <coughs> So there is some several works uh, which of, uh, of following people. So the, so people. So this. Let me reach. Yes, reach. What is it? Q. Q. Where is Q? P Q. P Q. 
So there has been some very, very big progress on this uh, tilting model, which I'll explain. So it, it's usually following people, Rich, Williamson, uh, Losev, uh, Elias, Losev, uh, I think also Elias, Williamson, uh, Libertinsky, Williamson. So this, uh, so I find, I'm not sure exactly how how the credit goes, but but uh, uh, one one result of, of all these papers is that this multiplicity that we are looking for, uh, there is an algorithm to, for for them, but it's quite different from the algorithm that was used to compute this polynomial that I discussed. Now. So for example. Uh, this, this, this algorithm is extraordinarily slow, so it's, it's al almost uh, like, al like a snail. So, it's, it's, uh, uh, so for example, in, if you want to compute uh, this polynom polynomial which I have discussed uh, for SL3, it takes, t uh, takes about uh, uh, half a second to compute all, all of them by computer. And if you want to do the same for uh, for, for, S, for SL3, for all, all the cases, SL3, uh, well, not, not all cases, for, for, for many cases, SL3, um, for, for tilting modules, it, it, this comp computation, so, so a computer can do it in, in uh, it took nine months uh, of, of a full, full work by a supercomputer. And, but, uh, but any case, at least, at least uh, there is now some method to to uh, produce many data. It's a very slow, very slow method, but it produces data. Uh, so what happened is that, so, so, thi so, so this data, you could, can look at it and it appears completely uh, random. So you, you can, it doesn't, doesn't seem to have any, uh, any pattern at all. <coughs> uh, and, um, so what I want to present, so, so, so what, what we found here is that actually, actually there is a pattern. Uh, so, so this is what I want to explain. So, so these are so like first, first uh, examples of, of these multiplicities in tilt models which are not, not uh, cannot be expressed or at, at the moment in terms of, uh, in terms of these uh, polynomials, uh, KL. Cardan my polynomial. <coughs> so the um, yeah. So let's let me introduce some. Okay. Ah, so 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 the first thing that 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 is well known is that the, these um, p p r cobs can be indexed by elements of affine bar group with three generators, 0, 1, and 2. And that's a, these are elements which have a minimal length in their coset respect to subgroup generated by 1 and 2. So 0, 1, and 2 represent the, uh, the sides of, of this fundamental curve. Uh, so, 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 so you, you can, exp so these uh, arcos can be indexed by elements of affine bar group. <coughs> now the, uh, the next thing is that uh, so we want to look at at Arkov which are along along this 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 lower wall, and we're not interested in in this Arkov because that that in the, that is the case where uh, tilting module is the same as is irreducible and, and uh, same. All, all, all four kind of modules are the same and it's not, it's not interesting. So we want, want to look at all these other arcs and they are indexed by numbers uh, one, two, three, four. So just 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 uh, by natural natural number, one after other. One, two, three, four, five. So so, so they're indexed by, by positive integers. And each of these arcs have an associated uh, set of simple reflections in the affine bar group. Then you can look at the descending uh, set of this bar group element. All, all, all elements which 
which appear at the end of this simple, expre simple expression. So here, here it is one, here it is two, here it is, uh, <coughs> here it is zero, here it is one, etc. So, so it goes, it's one to zero, one to zero, one to zero. Okay, now, um, okay, then, then if you have, uh, if you have any, any uh, point like this, which is not on a, not on a wall, so at this point it, it, it gives you some box, which is like this, uh, and it has, it is divided into two alcoves, and if you look at the right descending set of those two alcoves, then uh, will be uh, the, the, so it, probably this one will be one and two will be the descending set. Right? One and two both can appear at the end of the expression, and here is zero. Uh, so, and, and in fact, it's a general fact that the descending set of this and the descending set of, of this form a partition of zero, one, and two. That is true for any, any uh, is true in any, any of these boxes, uh, which are not, not along the wall. <coughs> And then, um, yeah. Th then for every, if you have if you have a number i, uh, strictly greater than zero, and uh, and one of these uh, points uh, uh, which are away from the wall, so it's x. <clears throat> so let, let's call uh, S P or set of all points, uh, all, all corners of, of these triangles, which are not not on the wall. So if X is in S P, uh, then you you have you have a well-defined box, uh, like which which has a, for X this X will be this box, or this X will be this box, or this X will be this box. And this box is a union of two alcoves. And if you uh, now this I, uh, as I mentioned, has a has a associated uh, simple reflection. Uh, is because it's a unique element, a descending set of of, of this this alcove, of I alcove here. And then exactly one of these two. Will will have S in its descending set, and so I, I call that alcove A uh, S. Uh, no, sorry, what is, no, so A I X. So so for any uh, uh, point in S P and any I, I I I I can have a well-defined alcove like this. So it's unique. Alcove in B, uh, such that corresponding bar group element has descending set, right descending set equal to S. So now the uh, for formula, so I, I write a, a formula with that which is, uh, just shows the, uh, the uh, general uh, shape of some, some shape of a formula, but then, then I will have to explain what uh, the main, main thing remains to be done. So, so I claim that there is a set uh, Z and the, fun which, and the map of a set Z to, to SP, so I re re recall SP <coughs> SP are, are all, all these uh, co corners of various alco P alcoves, but not on, not on the wall. So SP, then strictly positive numbers, and then 0, 1. So Z goes to lambda Z and Z delta Z. 
uh, with the following property that, I that if I take uh, this multiplicity of A uh, lambda, uh, Yeah, so, so, so maybe I want to denote by, if I, by, by, if I have the bar group elements, of course it's a minimal length on, on the minimal length. So WF elements of bar group, uh, half of bar group is a minimal length in the, uh, in the one, two coset, left one, two coset. So this, this index, all these R curves. Then I denote by W tilde uh, the sum of, uh, yeah, okay, so W, uh, M hat, sorry, the, uh, I, M -Y -W, M -Y -W. Uh, So what is M hat YW? So as I mentioned, this T, t lambda, yeah, so, uh, we can express T lambda in terms of these bar modules by some matrix, but, but we can, instead of lambda, you can write uh, uh, Arkov or, or, or bar group element. TW equals sum of M, uh, YW, uh, so these, these uh, instead of indexing the bar, bar modules or tilting modules by by weights, I index them by alcoves, which I, I, I mentioned that is possible. Uh, and then we can also uh, write this as a linear combination, not of bar modules, but of this quantum. Uh, so th these are the characters. Or, or Uh, so, so these are also, as I mentioned, these are known and also form a basis of, of, of this, uh, uh, of the Grotendi group. And so to, uh, to understand what is TW, it's enough to know what are these numbers, and th these are better behaved, actually. And then we can form such a formal combination. And the, then the question, what, what, what are these coefficients, M hat? So then the... Uh, Statement is that W tilde is, uh, first of all, is W uh, plus sum over these elements in the set Z. Uh, ah, no, no, so no, so I, I, no, I want to take W to correspond to this uh, element I. So I, I said the walls, the alcoves along the wall are indexed by positive integers. So I, I only want to look at, at those. So W corresponds to I, and then I want to take, to understand what is W tilde. So then I have to take all, sum of all Z, such that I belongs to NZ, NZ plus one, NZ plus two. And then I have to take uh, this, uh, <coughs> yeah, W or so something like this. So, <coughs> so if you remember, for each, uh, so so lambda z is an element of of SP, and then we have uh, we have seen that if I is given and the uh, element of SP is given, then you can associate Arkov to it. Uh, so this was uh, one of these two alcoves, which, which, uh, which in a box starting uh, based on L, uh, lambda z. So the, this one of two alcoves determined by i. So you take uh, the, the indexing of that alcove is by by element of bar group. So so the formula is like this, and there's also this delta, this last component. You have to take delta z plus one. So that's either one or two. 
so, so this uh, this supposed to work if i is less than uh, p, p cube. Uh, of course, this, for, this formula is actually not, uh, that, of course, doesn't tell you anything because I think it, it, it best, but because you have to, in order to have a meaning, you have to say what is z and this, uh, this map, what, what this map is. So, so from now on, I, I will uh, spend all the time, if I, if I if is any left, uh, to describe this uh, set z. And, and, and this what, uh, what, what, what came after staring a long time at, at uh, this computer out output. <coughs> and it turns out that this, uh, this Z and this map are very, very complicated. They have some, some extremely beautiful pattern which, which I never seen before. Uh, I think, uh, I, at least I never seen before. And I think it's quite, uh, it's quite amazing actually what, what, what it looks like. <coughs> So, so now I want to describe such a set Z. So, so the set Z will be, um, let's see, so I want, so the, so one thing I want to do, I, I want to draw now the, um, is bigger alcove, p square alcoves. So uh, before we had p alcoves, so they're given by these hyperplanes taking value p on the uh, multiple of p on on the uh, so, sorry uh, taking value divisible by p. Uh, val Valkater for val dimension formula takes a value divisible by p, but now you take p square. So 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 you get some much bigger alcoves. Um, now I want to view them as oriented. In fact, uh, uh, this yeah. so so these are the, the p r curves. Uh, so I want I want to orient the the, the uh, walls of the p r curves by this by this rule. So. Uh, so, for example, along this direction, I always go from left to right. In the vertical direction, I always go from up to down. And this, uh, inter this other di direction, I go from down up. So, for each alcove, uh, the three sides are oriented so that it's a cyclic. Uh, you, you, you can go in a circle. Uh, so, so, this form a graph, actually, oriented graph. But then I want to, to, to take, uh, to look at a subgraph uh, in which now only the walls of the P square alcove play a role. <coughs> uh, so now the, uh, the elements of Z will, will look more or less like this. There will be uh, sequences uh, starting with zero uh, and then they will have uh, Uh, the sequences will, will have uh, th uh, three parts. So, so there's one, one part which, uh, which goes along, so starts here and, and goes along this, 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 this wall. Uh, and and there will there'll be uh, small, small steps. Small steps means that each, each step corresponds to one of this, uh, one side of a P alcove. So the sm small steps go from here, and, and you go you go until you reach uh, one of these corners uh, of, of of this p square alcov. <coughs> so so that's the first part of of, of this. So, so so the sequence will will go from here up to uh, some uh, one of these corners. That's the first part of the sequence. So in this part, you you stay on the wall of a valve chamber. Now, in the second part of this, of this field, I can see if I can find something here. Yeah. Now, the second part is, is, is more interesting. So it starts from this last point that you reached on, on this lowest, uh, lowest wall. 
And then you 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 go. And let me see. If I can show it to you. <coughs> Uh, so suppose you reach this one, and then then you go in this direction. You can you have to follow the the the, uh, the uh, orientation. So you go in this direction. You go p minus one short steps, which each step is is uh, is the side is a side <laughs> of a PR curve. So so af so when you reach p minus one short step, you have you have got into this point. Now, when you re reach that point, there is a rest. You take a rest. So, so you, there's another, another thermal sequence, but it's, it's equal to the previous one. There's no, there's no, this, so it's the same, same one repeated twice. <coughs> uh, so after you reach that one, so, which means that you are, for example, here, uh, you, you take uh, some long steps, which, which they, they must have, uh, they consist of, uh, each one consists of, uh, p minus one uh, short alcoves, sh sh short, short, uh, what is short, short steps. Uh, but they're all broken actually because, uh, uh, so let's see, so for example, from, from this point, if you want to go p minus one steps, you can, you can go either this way. Uh, so that, that's, a, that's the case, P equals 5. You can 1, 2, 3, 4, you get here. Or, or you can go do, do, down, in the down. 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, and you, you could also go uh, in this direction, but that's not allowed. You, you want this, this uh, P minus 1 step this, to be a broken, to be a, to, you have to break the, dimension, the, the, the direction. So, so there are always two, two directions in which you can go. So there's a branching into, into two, two, two directions. So, so you take, you take you, so that's, that's one of the two choices. And when you, when you get to, to, the, to this last point, you, 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 now you can you, you take another uh, p, uh, p minus one steps. And then you will go here and here or here and here. So again, branching into two, and you're not allowed to go in the same direction. Do you make a pause? What? Do you make a pause in the second step? No, don't make a pause. No, no pause. So that's so. So you take so so the such p, big big. You say it's a long step, and you, you do p minus two of those long steps, and then and then you take a pause. Then then it's a pause. <coughs> Well, after you took p minus two of the lo so so actually one one rule is that you're never allowed to to end up in a corner point. So you're not allowed these these corner points are always uh, uh, forbidden. Uh, so after you took p minus two long steps, uh, if you want to do another p, uh, another p minus one steps, you will end up in a corner point, which, which is not allowed. And so then instead you will do some, some short steps, uh, p minus two short steps, and then you, then you, and then you rest, and then you, then you, then you repeat. Uh, you t do p minus two long steps, again rest. Uh, the long steps again have length, again uh, distance p minus one, and then rest, and then p minus two short steps, and this goes on forever. But so, 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 of course, there are, there are a huge number of such patterns because the, at each, each of these long steps, there are always two choices. So there's a branching in the two. So there's a branching here and a branching here and a branching here. So uh, the power of two uh, increases, and every time you go further, there's a larger power of two of possibilities. And uh, also the, the, the place where this, this uh, uh, this path will start also the, the, there's a freedom because you can you can when you start from here you can go up to any mark, a, any of these uh, corner points and th th then you start uh, this kind of thing so 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 there's a huge number of such paths uh, so maybe I can show you in one Yeah, maybe, no, maybe, maybe we don't, don't do it yet. <coughs> um, 
Uh, yes, but this, this part uh, actually goes on even more. So that, that, that's the second part of the part. It's already extremely, extremely complicated and a huge number of them. Uh, now, but now the, uh, what, now the next, next part of the part is that uh, you, you at some, sometimes where instead of uh, going on this uh, long step, you can stop there and then go inside inside one of these uh, p square arcs. Uh, so if you if you do that, then a path will stay forever inside the p square arcs. So you never get out. So so this path will go a complicated way along the wall, and then will it, it can go inside the p square arc, and then it stays there. And in, inside this p square arc, it will behave like a billiard ball. So that, that is. Also, so I, I will show you what, what it can look like. If I can find it. <coughs> yeah. So this, uh, this one example, so suppose this, this would be a, a P equals 11, for example. And you suppose that one of these uh, a path that we had, uh, we, we decide at this point that we don't want to, to continue along the wall and go inside, instead go inside. And then, then there's a unique direction, so you, you, you want to go inside and there's only direction you can, you, you have to follow the orientation that you have, and the only direction you can go to is, 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 uh, is, is like this. And so you, you go along this direction, uh, for as long as you can without hitting the next wall. So that's all very close to this wall but without hitting. And, and when you reach this last point, you make a turn. And so you, it's like, like a ball which will, would bounce in, in this wall. So you take a turn, it will go like this. And then you go again as long as you can, uh, doing these small steps. Uh, but again, we, until you almost reach the next wall, but you don't quite reach, and then you make another turn, and you again go until you almost reach the next wall, and then you another turn, and, and, and so on. So, and eventually this, 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 this will close, <coughs> and that is because this was an equilateral triangle, so it will, uh, this pattern has to close, and the path that you, you, you want to take will be will be, um, uh, the sequence that you want to take will be just going along by small steps along this, this, uh, this thing, but going forever, so it's a, it's a spiral, so infinite spiral. So, so it, this will go like this for, for forever and ever. Uh, and also, but also, uh, uh, when you reach a, cor a turning point, there has to be a rest or every time uh, in a corner point. So this, the two points here and two points here, and two points here, and so on, and here, and here. <coughs> so, so, the, this, so this, this kind of path, but th there are some limit cases of this when, when this point happens to be a distance two from, 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 from this corner. In that case, you, don't, you get uh, uh, some, some degenerate uh, situation, so you, you, get, uh, you have to go this, this direction, and this direction, and, this. So th th and then you have an infinite spiral like this, and uh, in this case, uh, in this turning point, you have two resting points, and here you have two resting points, and here you have, here you have one resting point. Uh, so, so that, so, 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 that, so, this, so these, are, so the set, these are more than described for you, the set Z. So it, it consists of all these uh, parts, which have three, three parts, and ending up in a, in a spiral. Uh, now there is. Uh, and and uh, this, the end point, so, but each of these paths, you, you stop at some point. Uh, so, so the path will, will be f of the kind described, but, but, uh, but uh, you st decide somewhere to stop. And the last point in the spiral is the first, uh, well, I, I mentioned that Z has to be mapped to, uh, to this uh, set, uh, the, uh, S, what called SP. And the, the, this point, last point, is, is that first coordinate of, of this uh, triple that you associate to Z. Now, the second coordinate is supposed to be some positive integer. So this positive integer is, is essentially the, uh, uh, is more or less twice the length of, of, of this path. 
but not not quite, but twice. So maybe I I will explain. So um, so so if you you start uh, you, you so the, the you start uh, from zero, and every time you take a short step, so so this, this integer associated to zero will be zero. Then every time you take a short step, you add two. So two 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 two, and then here also two 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 two. Uh, when you have a rest point, you, 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 increase, you increase the number in integer by 3, not by 2. So rest point increases by 3. And each of these uh, long steps, the, the integer uh, function is increased by 2p plus 1. So, so 2p plus 1, and then here is again 3, and then add 3 and 2, 2, 2. So, so this gives uh, this function, integer valued function on the set z. <coughs> Uh, and it, you see, it is, is more or less twice the length uh, because here this, this has length uh, p minus one, and we associate two p plus one. That's almost twice, twice the, the, the number of uh, twice the distance. Uh, and also, the, these uh, rest points are few, so they don't they don't uh, spoil too much. Uh, what happens, and then this, and now the z had had also a third component, which was delta, which was zero or one, and this one is uh, the easiest one. That is uh, zero up to up to this first rest point, and is one <coughs> after, afterwards for, for all all other points. <coughs> so, so 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 this uh, so, so this z uh, so uh, and, and this 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 seems to be the pattern, and. Uh, but now I actually have to say that when, when you get the computer data, then all these millions of paths they are all, all come together. So it's so, so it's very difficult to to to, uh, to see what, what what is what. So, so you have to you have to study uh, that picture and to to extract this. And, and uh, uh, so in fact, the data exists for prime three, five, and seven. Uh, for for a cer certain number of weights, and uh, this this pattern uh, it agrees with with, uh, with all 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 the uh, available information. Uh, but but it, it it seems that it will be uh, difficult to prove <laughs> that this is true because it's so, so complicated. <coughs> okay, that's that's all. So. Can, maybe can, can put the light on because I, I want to see what who is asking. What? Well, That's a problem. So is this, uh, why, why, is this, why is this some finite? Zero sum Oh, because, uh, well, in fact, all, uh, yeah, if i is given, then the lambda z, which can appear, they're all smaller in the, in the or partial order of the upper bar group. So the finite. Even. Any more questions? Is there anything for P equals 2? Uh, who is talking? Ah, for P equals 2, there's no conjecture, no. Because uh, here you use the fact that there the, the exists some uh, 
interior some weight which is not on, on any wall of the P Arkov. And, and uh, this used in a essential way. And for Picos 2, there, there's no, no such weight. So, so it's, it's completely, I uh, have no idea what it is. Yeah, so I should also, yeah, actually to do that, first of all, it's, it would be useful to have a Q analog of this, which, which that, that, that can be done also. So, so instead of this delta Z, there is, uh, so, you, you, so there's a Q analog of this. Uh, so that, 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 that can be also written. I, I just do, didn't do it for simplicity. And the Q analog, if you want to characterize this, certainly that, that is more likely to be characterized, but, but I, don't, I don't think I know. I have no idea what it is. But, but one, one thing which seems the case is that uh, <coughs> for this, if you take these tilting modules this along the wall, the fa fact that they are more complicated along the wall corresponds to, to the fact that there's uh, uh, two, two left cells uh, corresponding to subregular uh, uh, along those walls. So, so, so this complication uh, reflects the fact that you, have, you get some interaction between subregular and unit element, uh, which, which you didn't see for, for the uh, in terms of simple modules, which you can see for Lie algebra, as you know. Uh, but so here he, he, it looks like Lie algebra also appears in some, in some way. But on, only for, for the modular, not, not for quantum case, but for the, uh, for the modular case. <coughs> so, so you had, we started with a table of numbers, right? Yes. So how large were these numbers? So how large are these modules, for example, for P equals 5? So no, actually, the table, tables had, had, not, they had also polynomials, I have to say. They were numbers times power of V. Uh, well, the numbers, I think we had numbers up to 82, I think, maybe that was the largest, which appears, so numbers from 1 to, so this I, number I, which I called I, it was up to 82, for, for P equals 5. So, so, this, so this table had a lot, <coughs> lots of uh, entries up to 82, and in a very complicated way, with times powers of V. <coughs> Thank you.